I thought this theory was absolutely crazy. And the more I look into it, the more I say it's not quite as crazy as I thought it was. Johnny, are we talking about stupid things governments do that are obviously stupid but continue to roll on? Is that what we're talking about here? Yeah, Johnny, things that appear blatantly obvious that are wrong or whatever, but governments from around the world and uh, people generally just keep doing them, even though it looks from the outside bloody stupid. There are examples everywhere, Johnny, but today we're going to talk about Australia and submarines. What about the submarines? Yeah, what about them? And a few years back, Johnny, we did this glorious big deal with the French, our wonderful friends the French, and uh, we were going to build submarines, and they were going to be built over in Australia, and they're going to make bloody five million bloody jobs and all sorts of bullshit. <laughs> When Naval Group was selected to build Australia's next fleet of submarines, the occasion was marked with military ceremony. And the Americans would have said, Johnny, what the hell are you doing building submarines with the French? We'll build you some submarines and they'll be the best goddamn nuclear powered submarines that the world has to offer. Well, yeah, we don't know when you're going to actually get them, but by Jesus, we'll be supplying them, so rip up that contract with the French, which is exactly what Australia did, and the French cracked their shits. The French foreign minister was furious too, accusing the Australians of stabbing them in the back by breaking a deal to use French submarines, and said Joe Biden's abrupt, unpredictable decision was just like Donald Trump. But the consequences of cancelling the French submarine contract are becoming clear. And as compensation to our French friends, Johnny, for all the fucking around we did, uh, we had to pay them 850 million. 850 million? The tax price would be up to, up for, five and a half billion dollars in submarines that don't exist. The final negotiated settlement will be within that price. Yeah, we paid 850 million for no submarines. That made me a bit bloody suspicious. It's not just billions of taxpayer dollars at stake in Australia's French submarine debacle. Yeah, we didn't come out of it looking too good, I must admit. Hey, boys. Good morning from Australia. <laughs> A slightly less polished response from the President of the United States, but he clearly understands the message, though he appeared less clear on the name of the Australian Prime Minister. That fell down under. Thank you very much, pal. Appreciate, Mr. Prime the man, Scott Morrison, who Joe Biden piped into the White House alongside Boris Johnson to declare a new military pact aimed at countering China's perceived aggressive build-up in the Indo-Pacific. After the chaotic withdrawal from Afghanistan, President Biden is desperate to refocus foreign policy and national security on what he perceives to be America's biggest threat, China. And one way of doing that is to give Australia access to America's secret nuclear technology to power stealth submarines in the South Pacific. Well, it stands to reason we all be... But Johnny, we got to get the best submarines possible, surely. Uh, we just can't have sub bloody... That's not the stupidest part of it all, Johnny. The stupidest part of it all is England and the US are in the process of developing uh, drone submarines. Drone submarines? With no one in Yeah, remote control, Johnny. Remote controlled from thousands of kilometres away. No one on them. Due to the advancement of technology, weapon systems have become more sophisticated and capable for multi-role missions, which allows the unmanned underwater vehicles to play a crucial role within military communities. Having these unmanned underwater vehicles allows military personnel to control the vehicle without actually being inside it, cutting casualty numbers significantly. Another benefit of moving to an unmanned vessel allows the vehicle to be submerged for longer periods of time because of the lack for resupply, food, water, and oxygen. Well, why, why are we messing around doing that stuff that if you're making planes like that, you're going to make submarines like that? I mean, who wants to go down in a fucking submarine during wartime? Christ almighty! We haven't even thought about issues such as nuclear reactors sitting on hard stands in Osborne and how the people of Adelaide feel about that. 
The Poseidon is an 80-foot-long nuclear-powered submersible robot that is essentially an underwater ICBM. It is designed to travel autonomously across thousands of miles. Jesus Christ! Have a look at that thing! Dubbed the Doomsday Drone, the Poseidon has a range of 1,000 kilometers, 620 miles, and can carry a nuclear warhead with a yield of up to 100 megatons to most parts of the world, while remaining immersed 1,000 meters, 3,300 feet, beneath the surface. Yeah, so anyone who has a bit of a think about this, Johnny, can work it out that it's fucking ridiculous. The delivery of nuclear propelled submarines, well that would be a very good thing. Uh, now in doing that we need to do a lot of, lot of things, it's not just the boat itself, we have to invest in the skills to actually crew those submarines. And I know already uh, the ADF are working with um, our counterparts in the UK and US Navy to acquainted with those skills, but we will need to invest a lot more because it takes a lot of effort to find the people, the submariners who are willing to be on those boats, let alone be on the larger boats and stay under longer. But we do need... Johnny, how, would, how is this all going to pan out then? How do I see it going, Johnny? Well, I see Australia spending bloody billions of dollars over the next 20 years or so developing these bloody submarines that when they're ready to go in the water, are going to be obsolete. Well, yeah, it is pretty obvious, I suppose. So what the hell are we doing messing around spending billions of dollars developing new submarines? Well, I would never go down in a bloody submarine in a war bloody situation, jeez. It's a highly irresponsible act.